So, so glad that you guys are joining us today and I've got Emmanuel and we're going to have a good one and we're talking about who are you following? And I think in a time like this, we need to know who are we really following so mm. that our eyes can be open. Say, so Emmanuel, you've got some amazing things to share with us. It's going to be good. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, Paul, I think it was, uh, it was yesterday or the day before, yeah. I can't remember. Um, Facebook's got this uh, amazing tool that reminds you of things that you shared in the last year, two years, three years. It's always great to see those photos of your children when they were two years old, yeah, three years exactly. old. And there was a post that I put there three years ago, which said something along these lines about that almost 60% of all the online marketing and news is funneled through Google and Facebook. Wow. That's, that's quite a chunk. Mm. So that means that fake news travels faster, further and deeper into our social fabric. Come on. More than what we realize. So we do believe there's something like fake news. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Not everything is true out there. No, I mean, there, there's agendas. I think that's what we need to understand. There's an agenda. In fact, there's many agendas. Yeah. There's many voices in the world, and we've always heard that as, as followers of Christ. There are many voices. Yeah. But there's one voice that desires our allegiance. Mm, come on. You know? But there are many that are looking for our allegiance. Yeah. And so that's quite a powerful statement to realize that there's so much news agenda that is being filtered through two powerful mediums, Facebook, Google. And Google. that's not the only two. Yeah. But that leaves us with some questions. Eh? Sure. Um, what are we doing with our time? Yeah. What are we doing with our time? Because clearly that uh, if there's an agenda pushed on these two, on these social platforms, then it's demanding something from us. Mm. And I don't know if you remember, we spoke about the social dilemma a while back. Mm. When you watch that program, you realize the intentions behind these, um, these media giants. Yeah. They're not just looking to sell you something. They're really looking for your soul. Correct. By the amount of time that they demand from you. Your commitment, your loyalty, your allegiance. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's time. It's money. It's money. And it's, and it's pushing an agenda where you're going to put your allegiance. I mean, they're yeah. even using social media as a way to test people's allegiance with regards to political parties. Mm. So we can't fool ourselves in thinking that there's no agenda or there's no, um, you know, motive behind yeah. these, these channels. And so we've got to ask ourselves real questions about where we find ourselves in this mix. Mm. So good. Yeah. So I think for me, and I was thinking about it, I was like, we should actually just think about the reality of what this means. You know, what does my commitment to Christ look like, mm. realistically speaking, versus my commitment to following the news right now? Mm. Because it boils down to, to numbers. Eh? Yeah. We don't always think like that, but it's true. Yeah. It, it boils down to numbers. And I was actually thinking about it. We've got 24 hours in a day. Eight hours we sleep, more or less. Yeah. Eight hours we Hygiene work. Hygiene and sleep. <laughs> More or less. And then we've got eight hours left. And if we're spending between four and a half to five hours of our time watching TV or spending it on our smartphones or any device to, to browse social media, the news, etc., etc. YouTube. That's, that's more than 60% of our allotted time. Our free time. Our free time that we're investing in something. Come on. And so sometimes we don't equate that with worship, but it's the truth. Yeah. Worship so, is really the expression of my ability to follow the voice of God in my life. Yeah. So, so you're saying like of the eight hours free, we're spending 60% of that on media. Or more. So, or more. And something that's not part of my life. It's, it's, I'm listening to things. I'm watching things. I'm going, imagine if we just stopped worshiping that stuff with our time and our treasure and our energy. Because mm. that takes energy. Absolutely. And to say, can we tithe our time? You know, can, can, can I, as I, as I believe in tithing, can I tithe time to the Lord, to vision, to purpose? And I mean, that means I could take um, an hour a day to tithe my time to people, to serving Christ, sure. to serving my city, to changing people's lives. I think we need to start thinking that way. I totally agree with you because we don't, we don't connect the dots. So if we, we're always using this famous excuse, I don't have time. Yeah. Or I'm too busy. But the reality is we do have that time. And Correct. it's just a choice that we're making where we're going to allocate our energy and our time. Mm, so good. And so the Lord has blessed everybody with the same amount of time. 
Correct. And in fact, the Lord has given everybody the same call. Yeah. All of us are called. All of us are chosen yeah. to follow in the footsteps of Christ. Yeah. And so no one's got a different excuse. We all mm. have um, a destiny. We all have a decision to make. Correct. Yeah. We've got a destiny, but we have to make a decision on who Correct. we're going to follow. So good. Yeah. So yeah. Brilliant. So I want to encourage everybody. You know. Um, before we get overwhelmed by emotion, before we get caught up with the busyness of life yeah. and uh, the excuses of I cannot or I don't have the means or I'm not able to or I don't have any giftings. You know, those are all just excuses that we've been sold. Mm. In fact, it's been sold to us by the media. It's Correct. been sold to us by the world. Um, the enemy doesn't want us to recognize one thing, yeah. that we've been created in the image and likeness of God. Yeah which means that we have been given His cap capabilities and we've been given His call to make, an inf uh, make a change in the world. Correct. We've been called to influence. Yeah. We've been called to make this earth look like heaven. Correct. And so that means everybody's got the same amount of time, everybody's got the same call, and everybody's been given gifts mm. to be able to do that. Yeah. So now the decision is, who am I going to choose yeah. to follow? Correct. So good. I mean, you mentioned three powerful D's that really impacted me. I thought, man, you got it over there. Can you just remind us what those three D's were? And, and, and that's going to be the fruit of watching social media the whole time. Sure. I think, <clears throat> I think one of the things that I, that I, that I thought of when I, when I was reading that is that if we are not spending time connected to the vine, Jesus clearly says, man, your life is in me. Yeah. I'm the source of your life. I'm the light of your life. I'm the one that gives you direction in life. And if we're not getting our direction mm. from His voice, and we are getting direction from the voice of the world, yeah. which I truly believe the media plays a massive role as a false prophet in the earth. Yeah, yeah. It's good. It's misdirecting us. In fact, it's selling us lies mm. that we want to believe. Mm. You know, sometimes the Bible says that you're deceived by the own desires of your heart. Yeah. And so this media is just, it's just cementing that. And so we just believe these lies, but it leaves us empty. Mm. We keep on desiring. We buy stuff. We spend time, but we never actually satisfy. There's yeah. only one true source of satisfaction. So good. Um, and that is the Word of God. So good. That's His voice. And it keeps us hungering after Him, yeah. which is great. But if we are spending our time on social media, we're going to find ourselves deceived, mm -hmm. discouraged, yeah. and defeated. Come on. As opposed to... Uh, victorious, yeah, you know, uh, encouraged, <laughs> and uh, being able to navigate life properly. Yeah, living in the truth, living in the light. Absolutely. Yeah, because deception is darkness. Sure. And so, and if we're going to listen to the voice of the world, we are going to continually be deceived, living in darkness. We could be Christians. We could be saying hallelujah on Sundays. But if our time and our energy and our money mm. is not mm. towards the kingdom, we are being deceived. Correct. And I agree with you. I think the major thing in our lives in this time, which God is calling from His body, is decide. Would you decide? Make the decision who you want to serve. Make the decision of your time, of your treasure, of your talent, of your energy. And, and put that into motion. Mm -hmm. And I believe we're going to see massive effect out of that. You know, it's, sure. it's like you're saying there's voices in the world. And if, we, if, I, if I listen to those voices, I'm not going to have faith. Sure. Because faith comes by hearing yeah, yeah. and hearing the word. Fear comes by hearing and hearing what the world is saying. Correct. And so is there fear or is there faith Absolutely. arising in me? Yeah. The one thing I'm just reminded of right now is uh, the one great work that Jesus did on the cross was to bring us into union mm. with the Father. He brought us into union with Himself, with the Father and the Spirit. But not only did He do that, He brought us into union with one another. Mm. And if we look at what's going on right now in the world, there is a fracturing yeah. of society. Yeah, yeah. There isn't a unity. The media, the world is not calling us to stand together as a people. Mm. And so that's the one danger that I've seen with social media. It's actually dividing people. It's, it's keeping people isolated by themselves. And they think that they're getting to know everything they need by watching that screen. Yeah. And it's actually a deception. Mm. We've been called to stay plugged into Jesus. Yeah. And we've been called to stay connected to one another. Yeah, yeah. That's the work that Christ came to do. So good. And so you can't say I'm connected to you, but I never see you. Mm -hmm. I never speak to you. 
I never work with you in Come the on. work that God has called us to work with. Come we on. weren't called to be lone rangers in the kingdom. We were called to be a community mm. of believers following Christ. Come on. Beautiful. Emmanuel, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. That was powerful. Yeah, praise so God. who are you following? Who are you listening to? Mm. And I want to say that if we've been joined to God, one, then we should be following Him, listening to Him with all of our hearts and learning to shut off the media and spend our time on, on the things that are good. So God bless you guys. I trust it's been helpful. Yeah, take care.